Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Colin Watney, and I am the chief engineer of Ford Performance. And you all are the very lucky owners of the brand new Mustang GT350. And you're here at Ford Performance Driving School to learn how to get the most out of this car's incredible capabilities. But before, before we get started on the basics of performance driving, I want to talk to you about a very special feature of this car. It's called the flat plane crankshaft, and it sets your car apart from anything else in its class. The, the flat plane crankshaft was first developed back in the 1920s. And, uh, but today, the only other way to get it in a street car is with a Ferrari, a Porsche 918, or a McLaren. And these cars are way more expensive than your car. So the main purpose, <laughs> the main purpose of the flat plane crankshaft is to improve your racing performance. So I'm going to talk to you about how the flat plane crank uh, reduces weight, how it improves engine airflow, and how these key benefits will improve your performance on the racetrack. So as I said, the first key benefit is reduced weight. So the crankshaft is the main shaft inside of your engine that the pistons connect to to deliver their power. And on an ordinary V8 engine, they connect at 90 degree intervals. And this creates an imbalance as it spins inside of the engine that requires these heavy counterweights to counteract. On the other hand, the flat plane crank is much more naturally balanced and symmetrical. Its cylinders connect at 180 degree intervals. So it naturally produces a lot less vibrations and therefore requires a lot less counterweights. So this is, reduces the overall weight of the crankshaft and makes it a lot easier for your engine to spin. So it's kind of like having two wheels on an axle, like a big one and a small one. Well, the small one's going to be a lot easier for you to spin, and it's the same way with the engine. The next key benefit is improved engine airflow thanks to the flat plane crank's unique firing order. So a V8 engine has eight cylinders, four on each side, and the firing order is the sequence in which these cylinders fire in a cycle. On an ordinary V8 engine, the firing order is a bit irregular, and we're actually going to have a little activity to demonstrate it. So everyone, pick up your right hand. That's going to represent the right side of the engine, and your left hand. It's going to represent the left side. And we're going we're to tap them like this, all right? Right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, left. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. That's a little tricky, right? So now tap them like this. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Just back and forth. So that's a lot easier, and, and that represents the firing order of the flat plane crankshaft. And so your engine isn't having to think about which side to fire, but just like it's a little bit harder for you to do that double tap every third switch, it's harder for the engine to push out twice the amount of air out of that side every third switch. Uh, so the flat plane crank's perfectly alternating firing order means that the air always has time to clear out of that side before the next cylinder on that side fires. So now you might be wondering how these features benefit the performance of the car. First of all, the reduced weight of the crankshaft means that the engine can spin a lot faster. So whereas the standard Mustang GT redlines at about 6,800 RPM, the GT350 can redline all the way up to 8,200. It also means that the engine can change speed a lot faster. So when you're on the clutch to make a shift and you need to rev either up or down, the engine is going to make that change a lot faster and reduce the amount of time it takes you to make that shift. The improved engine airflow uh, allows the engine to deliver a much more broad torque curve with more linear delivery. So when you think about torque, it's kind of the force that pushes you back in the seat when you hit the gas. It's what's actually pushing your car forward. And if you're anything like me, it's what's putting a smile on your face when you hit the gas. <laughs> so an ordinary V8 engine uh, typically generates peak torque in about 1,000 RPM range, say from 4,000 to 5,000 RPM. And when you're racing, you want to keep the engine in that peak torque range because that's when you're going to get the most push and the fastest acceleration. And you do that by changing gears as you change your speed around the race tr racetrack. But changing gears slows you down. The improved airflow in the flat plane crank allows the GT350 to generate near peak torque from as low as 3,500 RPM all the way to 8,000 RPMs. So this is a huge range of peak torque delivery, and it means that as you're changing speed around the track, you're going to have to shift a lot less, and that's going to improve your track time. And that's really the ultimate purpose of this car, is to be a very capable track weapon. Uh, this is the first time that Ford's ever used a flat plane crank um, V8. And it took a lot of research and development to get it right, but it was necessary to make the most track-capable Mustang ever. So I hope you learned how to get the most out of this incredible car today, and I hope you now have a better understanding of what's going on under the hood. Thank you.